You know what else is oddly cool? And you guys won't believe it when I say this. You know what else is oddly cool? And you guys would not believe it when I say this. The Boiler Room Collection. The Boiler Room Spring Summer 2024 collection is actually really fucking good. I don't know if they're purposely hiring specific designers from brands or they're getting in kids who are trying to make a name for themselves or they're purposely trying to steer the Boiler Room brand into being an overall all-encompassing brand that doesn't just focus on live stream DJ events and it's actually a whole lifestyle company type of thing and maybe they're going to come out with fucking drinks and other bits and bobs and furniture and whatever else coming forward. But regardless, whoever's doing the design work over there, whoever's doing the styling, whoever's doing the photography, whoever's doing the casting, you are doing an incredibly good job because this shit looks really good. This stuff looks as good as the stuff I've seen from Stussy, the stuff I've seen from Supreme, the stuff I've seen from Hellstar, the stuff I've seen from Cortez, the stuff I've seen from fucking Awake, the stuff I've seen from Dime. Like this is as good as all of those really established brands streetwear brands that are really doing bits and pushing the fucking envelope this boiler room collection is just as good i'm not gonna lie so this is a lookbook and that features boiler room spring summer 2024 you've got this nice vest top here you've got a nice bag you've got this great t-shirt that says i'm bored already i love it in a nice fucking i guess helvetica font i'm not too sure if it is don't kill me if it isn't you got this really cool um long sleeve print mesh shirt that features a picture, I guess, of some club somewhere, but it looks fucking beautiful. I'm not going to lie. I'd love to see them do something similar with the, imagine if Fold did something similar with that iconic picture of like how the blinds open in Fold um, when the sun's coming up in the morning. That would be fucking brilliant to have that kind of print on 3D printed on a fucking mesh top somewhere. That would look fucking awesome as well. You got this bomber jacket. Like look at this bomber jacket from Boiler Room. This bomber jacket is fucking fire. That legitimately would look good, you know, on, on most brands' lookbooks and shit. And I remember when I checked the site, it was sold out. So I'm not the only person that loves this shit, right? That I'm bored already t-shirt is available. Um, I guess in women's or the baby t-shirt is in white and the, and the regular t-shirt print is in blue. And let me check. And again, see, um, that's that um, Lausanne mess t-shirt. I guess Lausanne is like, um, isn't that Belgium? Lausanne. Lausanne is it Belgium or Switzerland? I forgot one of those countries. Um, that sh that shirt print or that print comes on a dress. It also comes in a long sleeve t-shirt, a t-shirt and a vest top. And then the actual bomber jacket I wanted to show you guys. Last time I checked, it was sold out. Yeah, there you go. See, the, that, that core MA1 in olive. I wasn't the only person that fucking liked it. That MA1 jacket is absolutely sold out. Look at it. But it's absolutely beautiful. You can see why people would be jumping on it. So clearly I'm not the only person that's been able to see that Boiler Room are making some great shit. You've got this amazing olive green uh, bomber jacket. It's kind of done in a vintage, I guess, parachute type of style um, bomber jacket where you've got this nice gussets here on the edges that connect the sleeves. you got, again, a very short body. I love this flap that goes over the zip. I love how the, um, the what you call it, lastication on the neckline kind of sits in there. Um, and it's got a nice kind of vintage boxy shape. Um, they've also got, oh, interesting, they've got the logo on the outside there. I don't know if I like that, to be fair. I'm not going to lie. I don't really like that logo on the outside. I don't think Boiler Room has got the cachet just yet to have that. Because that logo hits different if it's like Drees, if it's Raph, if it's Rick, if it's Mew Mew. What do you know what I mean? Having a logo like that, like Issey Miyake, Comme des Garçons, that will hit a bit different. But having a logo on the outside of your jacket like that and it says Boiler Room, it's a little bit mad. A little bit mad. But, you know, they're trying to get there. And then you've also got a Boiler Room logo on the inside. You've got a nice uh, pull zip there. I'm not too sure if they're Riri zippers or anything. Riri zippers or y YKK. Okay, standard YKK zippers are not the most premium of zippers and shit, but you know, they're starting. Um, nice elasticated um, cuffs there. Oh, you've also got an insulated inner. That's nice. You've got an insulated, almost thermal inner. A lot of people like this shit. I've seen a lot of people, especially in Central, wearing these insulated inners as like an actual layering piece over a jacket. Because I have a lot of these that go into my like parkas and shit that I just usually throw away or leave on the inside. But I've seen a lot of people kind of wear them on the outside of a jacket or over a shirt and shit as a layering piece. That's pretty cool. And there's also a nice little stash pocket on the inside there where you can stash all your drogas or your Bible or your 
condoms or your pens or your lighters or your rollies whatever you want to put in the lollipops right whatever um you can put in that little stash pocket but that fucking bomber is definitely one of the highlights of that collection going back to the lookbook um you've also got this nice um utility vest which is a quintessential thing that you see in most dance floors out there and again this funny thing is i'm just thinking about it now i think this boiler room collection or the ones i've seen so far this is one part of a whole business that they do, right? Because you'd imagine looking at the website, they've got boiler room, they've got events that they do, events management, they do video production, then audio platforms in some respect, they sell stuff, and they also have a roving world tour production event type of thing going on, right? So these are all these different verticals that they're doing. So they're able to compete and make clothes of the level of some of the biggest streetwear brands out there. But they're also able to create really cool clubwear pieces that absolutely wipe the floor with core dedicated clubwear brands like our label group, right? That brand, I think that's founded by I forgot his fucking name, the DJ, but he's a uh, this guy that's got this label, um, and then he changed it into like a merch thing and it's like a full fashion collection where he's got all these overpriced like techno wear stuff, whatever. And that stuff isn't that great. Um, and I think what Boiler Room do is far better than that Our Label Group merch, clothing line, ray to collection that they actually have. If I'm not mistaken, Our Label presents their show during Milan Fashion Week. So Milan Men's Fashion Week or maybe Paris, one of them too. But during a major fashion week, they actually present all that shit on the runway. And it's like overpriced sweats, overpriced parkas and whatever. Obviously, the styling and the lookbooks and the casting is great. They'll have fucking Sven from Bergheim there. They'll have someone from fucking, you know, that fucking, I forgot the the, the collective, that he did, the, the fucking well-known DJ from Amsterdam and shit. They've always amazed people walking the show, but the clothes are terrible. So it's quite good to see boiler room despite all the shit they do be able to outdo an actual specific clubwear brand by just dabbling in it so this mesh utility vesting if you've ever been to a techno club you'll know that everybody has these sort of things so that's fucking great i love the lanyard little detail and the styling and again the styling's fucking banging as well big up this again the stylist whoever's in charge you did a great job look at the little detail i just noticed there they gave the model a little wristband as well. Do you know what I mean? Something that you'd get if you went to like a boiler room event or any type of rave event as well. So that's fucking cool. Um, actual real keys, probably covered in ketamine and any other fucking white substances and shit, which is quite cool to see. I love that little detail. The styling and photography is fucking amazing. Um, this jacket or this kind of tracksuit look is really cool too. I haven't seen the actual tracksuit look on the actual website. That's really cool. That tracksuit look thing where it's got the fucking U um zip on the front is really fucking cool where is it i think that might be the pants for it maybe i'm not too sure but i haven't actually seen that jacket where's that jacket let me see if the jacket is available here. i've not seen that here available just yet maybe they're drip feeding a lot of the stuff later so we might see a lot of it later on down the line see they're selling everything from tape they've got lanyards they've got keychain holders they've got socks but okay that jacket or that tracksuit look hasn't come out just yet this is another one of my favorites i really like that look there um, this mesh jersey is already out. This football jersey type thing is nice. That t-shirt, I don't think has dropped yet with the with the kind of logo almost kind of vibrating. The big boiler room t-shirt is obviously a staple and an iconic t-shirt people would love. Um, this jacket also is really cool. I think that's also sold out, if I'm not mistaken, with the zips all over it. That's a really cool one too. Oh, no, it's not sold actually. That's a cargo jacket there. The cargo jacket in Antra was it Antarctic. Um, this is really cool. Cut from lightweight shell fabric. This piece is fully lined with max durability, featuring a boxy fit. Car jacket appears in blue and black wash. So I really like that. Over dyed, nice contrasting stitch, nice big pockets. Pockets everywhere, basically. Pockets that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pockets that we can see, plus probably some more. There's probably a pocket within another pocket. So I, I like that they've done this because I guess it's a purposefully done in order to give people jackets that you can stash things in or you can keep phones in, keep cameras in and shit. That's quite cool. Or obviously, drogas. Um, I'm not really too fond of the logo on the back here. Probably it's a bit overkill for me. Although I do like it's tonal because that's one thing if you're going to do big branding at least do it tonal embroidering or something so it's not standing out from a fucking mile off and i don't look like a walking fucking billboard but it is a nice shape it is a nice wash i do like everything about it and it actually is a pretty decent price also i'm not really too mad at that and i think maybe that pocket this almost like you know i don't know what you call that shape but this pocket on the inside it seems like one of their little design staples 
on maybe on the inside left of their pocket down there it's a little secret little stash pocket that they always have so i really got that like that um continuing on you got the you got another look here with the is that okay that's a that's the same jacket we saw above with the matching pants i think or maybe those are the double knee pants i'm not too sure but that look is fucking banging right that is a really fucking good look so supremely styled and then you've also got this great jacket here it almost looks like a work jacket or flight jacket with two big zips here on the front and the zip on the side you've got a t-shirt that says hydrate yourself i love that that's really fucking cool um you've got another one where she's wearing a bikini top and some sweat oh boiler room sweatpants oh that's kind of hard i'm not gonna lie i wonder why they put the logo at the back like that and not at the front that's kind of a cool little twist isn't it usually when you're doing a logo on a pair of sweatpants they usually go just underneath here on the pocket towards the front but they put it here at the back. Interesting. Um, and then you've also got this tie-dye hoodie. That's really cool as well. Um, so, yeah, big up all the team. There's a team of people that did it. Photography. What's that? Vasilias Caligias. And stylist is Charlotte Moss and everybody else included. You guys fucking smashed it. Um, Boiler Room. Spring, summer 2024. It looks fucking amazing. I love everything about it. I love everything fucking about it. Okay? Cool.